Decade after decade, Biden has twisted his knife into the back of Michigan workers and workers all over the United States. You don't have to take my word for it. We have Joe on tape. Please roll the tape. My problem is I voted for NAFTA. I'm supporting NAFTA because I think it is a positive thing to do. And I do not pretend to be an expert on uh, international trade matters. Trade agreements like NAFTA and permanent normal trade relations with China, which forced American workers to compete against people who are making pennies an hour, has resulted in the loss of 160,000 jobs. The president is absolutely right when he says that China has been cheating for 25 years and that Bill Clinton didn't, didn't do enough about it, George W. Bush didn't do enough about it, Barack Obama didn't do enough about it. The rising China is an incredibly positive development for not only China, but the United States and the rest of the world. Rising China is a positive, positive development. It is in our self-interest that China continue to prosper. We want to see China rise. China is a great nation, and we should hope for the continued expansion. China is not our enemy. We talk about China as our competitor. We should be helping. The idea that China is going to eat our lunch is bizarre. The idea that they are our competition, they're going to beat us, is bizarre. They're not bad folks, folks. China's not a problem. Allowing China into the World Trade Organization, which he supported. Extending most favored nation status to China, which he supported. That those steps allowed China to take advantage of the United States by using our own open trade deals against us. No. Do you think in retrospect that you were naive about China? No. But doesn't he deserve some credit for that? It's better. The USMCA is better than NAFTA. It is better than NAFTA. I have never said I oppose fracking. You said it I, on tape. I did show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on the website. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuel. No more, no new fracking. I'd gradually move away from fracking. And I think it's critically important on day one that we end any fossil fuel leases on public lands. Oh, well, like, what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. new pipeline and yeah. infrastructure? Yeah. And, new pipeline. And, and, exactly. and... There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. I have one final would question. Would he close it down falls, the oil industry? It falls. Or would you close it down falls. the oil industry? By the way, I have a transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I will that's transition. a big statement. It is a big In statement. terms of business, that's the biggest statement. Okay. Because basically what he's saying question, is he is Mr. going President? to destroy the oil industry. Okay. Will you remember that, Texas? Will you okay. remember that, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice President. Well, let me ask you a question, Joe. Yeah. You're right here with me. Yeah. Have you been on the floor of the Senate? You were in the Senate for a few years. Yeah. Time and time again, talking about the necessity, with pride, about cutting Social Security, cutting Medicare, cutting veterans programs. No. You never said that. No. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans. Benefit. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. Look, here's the deal. You're an honest guy. Why don't you just tell the truth here? We all make I, mistakes. I, I am telling the truth. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. Joe, let me repeat it again. I want you just to be straight with the American people. I am saying that you have been on the floor of the Senate time and time again talking about the need to cut Social Security Medicare and veterans programs. Is that true or is that no, not true? No, it's not true. What that is, is not true? That is not true. I meant veterans, but I meant every single solitary thing in the government. Everything was on the table. I did not support any of those cuts in Social Security or in veterans. Whoa, benefits. whoa, whoa. You, you, everything was on the table. All right, you're right. You just said it, including, in your judgment, cuts the Social Security and veterans. In order to get the kinds of changes we need on other okay. things related... Joe, then but, you just, but we did not cut it. I, I know, because people like me helped stop that. All that I would say to the American people, go to YouTube. It's all over the place. 
Joe said it many, many times. And I'm surprised, you know, you can defend that or change your mind on it, but you can't deny the reality. Now, to be fair, maybe Biden's not telling us because he's forgotten his own plans. Watch Biden's staff quickly swoop in to shuffle him along during a quickie escape the basement trip to Pennsylvania. Here's the deal. One of the things that that, that is important is that um, keep in mind, although they're going to vote on uh, uh, Barrett, I think today. That was terrifying. What kind of country we're going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different world. Look, it's the whole thing is crazy. Is that crazy? This is that craziest race. There's that craziest race. Our country cannot be put in that position. 